So guys, we're uh, sitting here, it's a Friday afternoon and there's always cool stuff going on at Atlanta Hobby and UAV Experts. We're uh, going on a motorcycle ride tomorrow. Yes, we are. What time are we leaving, by the way? We'll leave my place probably by 9, 9.30. 9, because it's going to rain in the afternoon. Yeah, So we'll go early. So it's going to rain the hour after tomorrow afternoon, so before uh, we go any more, when it stops raining, you're going to need something cool to fly. And while we were at Ceph uh, a couple of weeks ago, we ran into Kike. Kike yes, Summonzini. Yep. Who always has had just uh, killer airplanes and stuff out there, right? Yes, absolutely. So we're Great strolling flyer, down the flight right line, and, and, and what do we see? Yeah, we saw these uh, foam airplanes that he has. Uh, not a profile type airplane, but a foam 47 inch wing airplane. That's Pretty cool. I'm, Three cell, 2200. You can uh, see it off there just a little bit. Yeah. But what we figured we would do is show you a little bit about what's in the box because it's pretty cool. Kike, of course, has started a new company. He left his previous employer. For those of you who don't know, Kike had his own company for the longest time and he was courted away by one of the uh, large distributors out there. But uh, after a while of corporate life and having to wear a tie, which Kike looked a little funny in a tie, yeah. I think started his whole new company called Flex Innovations and there's a bunch of cool new products he has but one of them is this Kike Extra 300 mm -hmm. so let's kind of show him what's in the box yep. maybe we could uh, um, you know there's a little note page yep, and nice and packed you got the wing or the uh, elevators are split just to build them I mean, it was packed packing. really well I was impressed yes. all of the bags Swings. are sealed and, everything is uh, already in it now your servos are already hooked up this is like some derivative of, um, you know, EPP has a, a whole bunch of different types of EPP. The thing I noticed is it's stiff. It's very, very yeah, stiff. It's actually a hollow wing with wood and carbon reinforced. We also have some, some very cool vortex generators along the wing that you can see there. And, you and, can see, and the size of the ailerons. Oh, yeah. very, very thick. Yeah. Look, look, look how thick that stuff is. Yeah. And it comes with the servos in it. It does. Servos are in it. Servos are already mounted. Uh, everything's actually mounted. Motors mounted. Really, all you need for this is a receiver and a battery. And the other cool thing about it is, is the receiver. Um, he has his Aurora 8 flight stabilization system in it. Is it called Aurora or Aura? Well, I guess it could be Aura. A U R A. It's, really it's yeah. called A U R A 8. The number eight. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's kind of, it's stability, right? Yeah, it's stability. stability. But the, one of the cool things about it is um, you you don't have to have an entire receiver. You can take like a Spectrum satellite if you're Spectrum guys, which a lot of guys come in our shop are. And you can just take the Spectrum satellite, one or two. Kike said that they did most of their testing with just one and had no that issues. new dual diversity thing probably You can use that, cool. yes. And, uh, and you plug it into the satellite and bind it. So it is like a plug and play type of aircraft. So if you're Futaba or a Tyrannus or even Airtronics or anything works with this system. It was impressive that it would bind to anything. Yes, and it's uh, really, I, I mean, I put that one together. You can see, I won't pull the fuselage out, but so this this Aurora or Aurora thing, it's a it's a flight stabilization system. But from what I understand, you can you can set it up with three different modes, yes. right? He actually has it when it comes out of the box and use it. Like when I set it up on my DX9, I have it on a flight mode switch. Mode one, it's not on. You can do whatever you want with that mode. Mode two is in a kind of a sport mode, and mode three is full deflection 3D mode. And it's a little bit different than like your AS3X when you would move that AS3X, you'd see slight movements. When this is in 3D mode and you move the plane, it gets its drastic swings. That's cool. It it's really reminds me of the helicopter stabilization. So this thing is big. What it does. Yeah, it's a, it's a big. Yeah, and it's, it flies very nicely on a three cell 2200. Very well, that's nice. what I thought. You, you want, you know, for you 3D it's guys, not you want heavy. extreme 3D performance yep. out there. I mean, basically, you're going to bolt on the landing gear, which slide right up in the fuselage, and there's a cover that goes over it to hold it to the bottom. And the other gonna... thing I mentioned about the wings that I should have is they're hollow. They're, they're molded hollow, so they're very, very lightweight, and it's got an internal wood and carbon structure to make it very, very stiff. So he, he's done a great great job yeah. with that. Wing tube, I have some tape still stuck on it, but the wing tube, just like we're used to, slide the wing tube through. You slide the wings on, run your servos, or run your uh, wires from your servos, just like we do with any 48 or 60 inch plane that we're used to flying. And uh, 
47 inch is kind of nice because a lot of times I don't even take the wings off. I just put it in the back of the car. So, you know. Yeah, it makes it easy to handle. Yeah, and it's that type of plane. It's To me, it's the type of plane you just throw it in the car, you take it out, you just fly it, don't worry about it. And Fly it hard, and it's, it flies hard. You know, the wings have F SFGs too, so those little side force generators. Yep. So that helps yep. if you're if you're. And, doing that, and those you glue generators. on. That's you can kind of see them here. You just glue those on, and they're on, and it's done. Uh, there's really no gluing at all involved at all. Everything bolts together, and it really, uh, I think maybe an hour I might have spent on it. Oh, that's cool. I mean, there's really nothing to do with the. Uh, you're binding it to your radio, and and he gives you in the instruction book, which we have laying yep. right there. Very cool. He gives you the setups and what to set your transmitter to for your throws because you'll have some different throws on different modes. So you can have cliff throws or key K throws. You, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Key K smooth are about talent. Like that. Yeah, key yeah. are about like that. Yeah, so. so and you know we watched him fly it and the thing that really caught my eye was is how windy and, and it wasn't just windy. Wind's one thing, it was very gusty. Yeah, exactly. And, and it just knocks planes around when it's like that and they were up and him and Seth Arnold and obviously these two guys are excellent pilots anyway but still the aircraft performed so well and was so smooth it was cool it was really cool to watch and when i flew the other day with it it was the same conditions and i had a blast with it. of course two of the best pilots in the world can make yeah. it look good in any yeah. condition they fly but, a brick but, but seth was uh interesting yeah, seth was interesting, interesting weather you know i thought they uh, another cool thing was they even went as far as Dave Ribby, who was also with another big distributor, has moved over and is working with KK now, as well as Seth Arnold, which he just heard us mention. But uh, KK and uh, and Dave, they've they've developed a whole new prop. It's 11.5 by 4.5. They call it a, an SR, a Summonzini Ribby prop. Is that what that was? Especially uh, built I didn't for. Get that. I didn't and it's kind of like a 10 size motor too, so it's got <laughs> yeah. gobs of power. Oh, it has got plenty of power. I mean, actually, uh, yesterday on my last flight, I took it and just kind of held it and power it up and, and let it go like that into kind of a hover and it just sits there and then you can you can punch out of a hover no, no cool. problem yeah. on, a on three cells fine yeah so it's three like cells 20, yeah he does have the option he said there's a different motor you can get if you want to go to four cell but you really don't need it it's got a 40 amp uh, hobby wing speed controller in it yeah nice little speed controller it's three cells perfect three cell 2200 high sierra batteries are 19 well, yeah for 20 bucks you can yeah, do that absolutely we'll shove all the stuff back in the box and i'll show them what one looks all like right. put together yeah so let's see, let's do this. Here's the here's the hatch. So that's the battery hatch. So yeah, so you see that everything already? fits. Yeah. And he's got a nice belt type strap. I I use in a little bit different connector, but still. Uh, the speed controller sits right in the bottom, but there's also air inlet for the speed controller. Oh yeah, hang on right there. Let me get a shot of that because that's kind of nice. Yeah. Cool. Get that. And then he's got the little belt strap. And I, of course, I put a little bit of Velcro on the bottom just to help hold the battery. The battery sits almost perfectly centered in there, CG-wise. He has his CG. I was impressed with the whole the, the plywood frame that's inside of the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. He has a CG right at the front of the uh, bottom hatch. And this is what I was talking about with the... Let's see if I can get this. Or I can show it, yeah. So I have, that is the Spectrum satellite sitting right here, okay, and it's plugged right in to the Aura or Aurora 8, yeah, right here. Right there, pretty good. See that right there, that's, there's the flight controller. Spectrum satellite sitting right next to it, plugs right into it. And you can do two, I just happen to have a carbon fuse satellite laying around, so I used it and let the antenna run out the bottom. And you can see the t tail servos sitting right there. But nice plywood goes. The servo wires pass right through. He's got a nice hole to pass the wires through. They come right up underneath. It's real easy to get to. Even if you do have to take the wings off, it's not hard. It has two, it has a screw on both sides right in here that you take out and then you can slide the wing off from that point. So it's real easy to take apart and transfer. Yeah, yeah, it's real quick to take apart very, if you very. want to take it apart. But it, again, it uh, doesn't weigh much. You throw it in the car and it's a, it's a foam plane. I like that it's got some presence to it, you know. Oh, it's got a nice you know, a 300 will tumble and it'll do yes. all kinds of cool stuff. Well, so. I did some flat spins with it and some hard tumbles with it. And it, the one thing it does really well is knife edge. I, it's Harrier type knife edges. It's just, I was watching Kike do them and I figured, well, that's Kike. He was just doing elevator drop in knife edge. And I did it the other day and it made me look a lot better 
at doing it than I am. But it really holds a knife edge really well. There's like no coupling involved whatsoever. It's so really fun a knife edge. It's probably because of the the SFGs and then you're giving it full rudder, yep. which is how you would fly And it's that got a nice size rudder on it too. It does have a big rudder, yeah. which is fantastic. It's just a, a really fun plane and especially for the price. I mean, it's done. You're putting a battery in it. Yeah, so we'll close with that. It, again, completely built, servos installed, all of them, motors installed, speed controllers installed. All you need is a, a Spectrum satellite or a satellite of your choice. And a 3S pack anywhere from an 1800 to 3300, but you get all of that for 280 bucks, which is fantastic. That's pretty me, fantastic. Yeah, I mean, pretty fantastic. And, and, so. it, and it's really it's about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to, to get to it ready it to take to the field. Nice. Yeah, it's done. Well, check it out on the yeah. website. Watch some of the videos we've got, and visit us over at Atlanta Hobby. Get you one extra 300 yeah. Kike. Blue or red? They blue really or looks red. orange and purple to me, but eh. it's kind of orange. I have cataracts. I, I like the blue. Yeah. All right, let's All go right. play. See you.